Tonight on City News, a health care in crisis. The hallway was just lined up with gurneys. Nobody was helping them with their bathroom needs, with their hygiene. Uh, they were just sort of left there just to rot. How patients who shouldn't be in hospital are taking up bed space for those who desperately need it. We have a province that hasn't got a strategy to deal with the ALC crisis other than try to kick people out of hospital. And the dangerous side of our national pastime. You've got a lot of guys. It's very competitive. People push themselves beyond their limit. Yes. And you're not really aware that you're having a heart attack until it's happening to you. We reveal the unique stress hockey puts on older players. One of the things you should be doing when you're off, when you're off on the bench, is to stand to keep the heart rate going. Of course, none of us do it because we're all too tired. And good evening. We continue our City News investigation into just what's going on inside Trillium's Mississauga Hospital as complaints come pouring into our newsroom about patients being admitted into the ER, uh, being told they do need care, but then being forced to wait on gurneys in the hallway, sometimes for days, because there simply are not enough beds. Tonight, the critical problem facing not only Mississauga, but hospitals right across this province. My dad has paid into his OHIP since its inception. He's never used it. My father was not even born in a hospital. He was born at home. So this was the first time that he's ever had an experience of being sick. Um, and that's what he got for his 50, 60 years of contributions as a gurney in the ER. In 80 years, Frank hadn't...